The Synod on Thursday reopened debate on a bill to establish the South South Development Commission, which was suspended in July. The bill scaled through second reading during the plenary session. In a fresh twist, the expression of what is good for the goose is good for the gander prevailed as the South South lawmakers made a case for reconsideration of the South South Development Commission bill. The South South requires a commission that is exclusively dedicated to a region that understands our unique issues and can craft tailored solutions for them just like the other five geopolitical regions. And our distinction lies in the way funds are allocated. The Niger Delta Development Commission allocates resources to member states based on the quantum of oil production in each state. While oil production remains crucial, it has led to unequal development where states with higher oil output rightly receive a disproportionate share of resources, leaving others behind. At the sitting, the majority of lawmakers expressed, embraced rather the merits of the commission, asserting that it will not be development-based. It will be based rather development-based, not resource-based, like the NDDC. Where at this point now, Mr. President and my dear colleagues, we are now creating not resource-based centers of development and entities, but development-based and it is according to geopolitical zones. And that is why the case is now being made for the consideration of this August Assembly. And I will now, on behalf of all the senators, appeal to all members that we should give this a favorable consideration. Uh, as has been rightly said, what is good for the goose is also good for the gander. I urge my colleagues, because of the nature of South-South, if you go to South-South, you cry. If you go to the, uh, uh, what, uh, the part of South-South where this oil is being drained, these people have no water to drink. They have nowhere to cultivate food to eat. So they should be number one in having the developmental commission, because this commission is diplomatically based, not OE based, because there are two different things we are doing. We have the hyperbed in Niger and they're operating, and the other diplomatic commissions are there. Based on the explanations also captured in the bill, there are some states that do not benefit from what comes from NDDC. So, based on this fact, I stand wholeheartedly to support this bill that will deepen development and spread development equitably. Deputy Senate President, Senator Baral Jibrin, and a lawmaker from Kogi State, while speaking to the bill, suggested that other oil-producing states could be included in the NDDC, saying the NDDC name could be changed to accommodate more oil states. Since we have created commissions for other zones, like my zone has uh, gotten one, there's nothing wrong, and I support the idea, that the commission uh, to take care of uh, the South-South in terms of uh, um, helping to further develop the zone should be created. That's okay. That said, I will also want the name, well, thereafter, of course, when the commission has been created, then we have to look at the NDC again, maybe change the name to Oil uh, Area Producing Commission. So that that will include states like Gombe and Bochi that are now oil producing. And of course, Kogi, as said by uh, Senator Karimi, can now be brought on board. So the name, uh, Ogun State, and Ogun State, and Lagos State. There is this uh, common adage, it's a biblical adage, that those who, eat, those who work on the altar must also eat from the altar. South-South people, they walk on the altar and they must be fed from the altar. Yes, Niger Delta Development Commission, Kogi State is an oil producing state. However, President of the Senate, Senator Gautil Akpabu, put the bill to avoid votes and many senators voted in its favor.
The bill has been referred to the Committee on Special Duties to report back within one week. A bill for an act to establish the South South Development Commission charged with the responsibility to receive and manage funds from the Federation account allocation and other sources, donations, grants, aids for the integration, development, resolution of infrastructural deficit, militancy, communal crisis, as well as tackle ecological and environmental problems, and for later matters 2024. Second reading taken. This bill is now referred to the Committee on Special Duties to revert to the Senate within the next one week. The Senate also passed for second reading a bill to act to establish police service commission training institutes that would serve as a center for the administration and management of the institute and determining the standard of knowledge and skill to be acquired by personnel of the police service commission on its oversight functions over the Nigerian police. The bill was sponsored by Senator representing Jigawa East Senatorial District, Senator Abdulhamid Ahmed. <laughs> 